Hello guys, in this video I will be showing you the overview of Havoc OS that is based on Android 9.0 Pi for Moto G5 Plus. So it comes with a security patch level of June 2019 which is not the latest but I found this ROM to be very stable and full of customization. Going to the settings you can see the status bar options have all your usual status bar settings battery percentages and uh, the symbols if we go to the interface you can see you can change the ui style to the aocp or the pixel style also all the cut color palette and everything and now if we go to the quick settings you can change the layout option the number of rows and columns in the notifications bar the ambient display is very usual in any other room. The screen option can change the values, the button, the uh, the power menu, what options you want to show. The navigation bar has the usual option. You can hide and enable the disable the navigation bar. The gestures, the Android gestures. And the lock screen media, you can turn on pocket detection and the charging animation and the charging info, the watt and the battery temperature. It can be enabled from here. Usual revisions. You can also, it has a built in screen recorder, so that is really good. can enable or disable animations so these are the usual havoc features uh, coming to battery it is very good even though the device is two years old it still performs adequately right so if you do not play a lot of games you can expect a good screen on time and battery usage So the Moto Action it is built in and you have the usual for class light and camera gestures. The ambient display also works, you have fingerprint gestures and a screen of gestures. You can see it is fluid and works without lag. There are a lot of native notification toggles you can add or disable notification the toggles there are a lot of options uh, you can see the face unlock also works so you can see i just unlocked it if i bring my face it unlocks automatically this feature is not even in the Android 10 ROM, but it is there in the Android 9 based ROMs. So multitasking is not an issue in this ROM. It works flawless. So there's an advanced reboot option. So overall, I think this ROM is very stable and it will fulfill all your customizing needs. So this is it and I will give the links in the description. Thanks for watching.